Hello Taurus, welcome to your November 2020 reading. Um, I've just done a pre-shuffle and a meditation for you and uh, a few things came up, some interesting things, some fun things. Um, I saw a white car, I heard a lot of laughter, which is always nice, um, from many, many people and um, a house with a very large grey stone wall surrounding it. I don't know if these are literal images or metaphors that will be playing into the reading or not. I saw a fire pit or like a campfire, so I'm getting like a, a the vibration of people sat around on an evening. You know that smell of the evening air when it's got dark and you've got company and the the embers from the fire are kind of floating through the air that kind of stuff going on there energetically or planetarily rather should i say november's going to be a bit more chill <laughs> thank goodness for that because october was wow yeah october was wow um <laughs> obviously mars mercury we had a load of retrogrades and a blue moon and all sorts of stuff obviously Samhain or halloween whatever you prefer all occurred during october november's going to be a little bit more relaxed that's starting around the third of november when mercury does turn direct in libra so that is certainly good news let's get some cards for you on the table today taurus and uh you're the first in this batch. Um, a few people have asked me why I don't do these readings in the same order every time. What I do is I let the cards guide me. I actually pull the cards and take the meaning of the cards. So your first card, for example, is the Three of Cups here. This is you in the center of your reading here. Card of Friendship, which makes a lot of sense given what came across to me in the meditation there group dynamics people but this is a card of cancer so when I pull for the order that I'm reading in the first sign on this occasion would have been cancer and I will write this down and I will keep going until I've got all 12 you came up first this time Taurus and the reason why I do it that way is because say I'm halfway through the readings and I start noticing patterns and things if I did the signs in the same order each month then you know the sign that say i started with aries first every single month then aries would never be privy to any of the patterns or things that i'm seeing so uh that's just a little explanation of why i do that so you are the three of cups there mercury in cancer for november what spectacular energy crossing you is judgment or the aeon in this card which is pluto scorpio and fixed water what lies at the root of the situation is the queen of queen the queen of pentacles make sure i can get all of these on camera for you here um recent past six of swords nice nice okay on your mind nine of pentacles loving the vibration that you've got going on here right now taurus lies in the future the prince of cups uh oh who's he okay along the staff here this is advice for you moving forward the princess of cups what you need to know ace of cups well you'll know it hopes and fears queen of cups look at all of these cups and potential outcome for this month is the fall beautiful wow taurus this is kind of gorgeous okay let me pull all the energies together that we've got on the table here and we will set about reading these cards for you and clarifying each of these positions for you okay so what we've got on the table here today is cancer scorpio aquarius is here twice and virgo we have two cards of earth two of air five of water and no fire at all but that's okay this just feels kind of chill um a little aimless um directionless perhaps but that's okay um you're just getting a very relaxed um 
friendship kind of vibration coming on here. <clears throat> Lots of people here. We've got a Princess of Cups, a Page of Cups, a Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups here. Lots of people around you. Um, it's a nice energy. Mercury is here twice, which again suggests very much. Lots of communication going on. Doesn't look as though it's with a view to anything in particular communication wise. I mean, Venus, Pluto and Uranus are here as well. It's kind of dreamy. It's friendly. It's loving. But again, more in terms of friendship here. It's a nice energy, honestly. It's a really nice energy um, of just kind of hanging out with like minded people with your tribe. And you, of course, central here. The Three of Cups, the card of abundance here, as I said, Mercury and Cancer. It's about deep friendships, possibly sentimental conversations going on within that friendship group. I, I, I just see you hanging out with people and connecting and chatting. Um, you might be literally sat around a campfire as came across in the meditation there. If that's not a literal thing, it's more the energy of just being with your tribe, being with your people, so to speak. Um, let's get some clarifiers on the table for you here with the Animal Familiars deck here by Lisa Parker. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so is there a little bit of a player in your midst? Okay, that's okay. It looks like there may be one particular person within this friendship group here who's kind of attractive and charismatic and fun someone who kind of lives in the moment someone with a great sense of humor perhaps a little tactless this is the energy of fire so it could be that you're connecting here with an aries a leo or a sagittarius here but again i don't feel that there's anything super heavy or serious or even massively emotional involved here it's more you just just coming together having a good time there's no arguments here it's it's more the energy of celebration and festivity good conversations good company crossing you here is the judgment card however which is a card of using your judgment okay so it could be that what i'm feeling is in somewhere in your subconscious or in your in instinctual vision visionary field of intuition here someone's kind of waving a little bit of a red flag here okay it's it's just a little one it's just a little red flag yeah it's it's like saying just just be careful taurus it's like you're telling yourself just be careful with this i think you are i don't see you being massively emotionally invested here despite all of these cups we will get into these i feel, feel these are more people around you but yeah there's just like a just just be careful kind of a are you not ignoring the red flags but are you kind of forgiving certain behaviors just because you just want to have some fun is that is that what's going on why is this here please temperance another card of sagittarius here temperance is jupiter and mutable fire it's about moderation so maybe don't overdo it um are you drinking a little too much are you partying a little too much are you burning the candle at both ends make sure you're getting enough sleep please here <clears throat> It could be speaking um, of Sagittarius season, which shifts over on the 21st of November. So for the majority of November, we are in Scorpio season, but the sun enters Sagittarius on the 21st. So it could be that you kind of hit a point around the third week of November where you feel a little burned out. Perhaps just, just take things steady. Moderation is key um make sure you're if, if you know going out having great times maybe staying up a little bit late make sure you are giving yourself the time to recharge in between any late night sessions i'm getting a very late night kind of energy coming from you here taurus right now what lies at the root of the situation here is the queen of pentacles this is your queen um are you kind of hosting <clears throat> 
parties or get-togethers? Are you providing the snacks and the nibbles or are you driving people around? Or I did get that white car for some of you in the meditation there. Are you the one that's kind of organising this? Is it kind of all on you? Not not in a really put-upon way. I don't think you mind. Um, I feel people are gravitating towards you right now purely because you, you have a lot to offer. Let's see why this is here. The Seven of Pentacles. Okay, beautiful. It's another one of your cards. This is Saturn in Taurus. Um, it's it, it's investing. I feel people are investing in you because you have a lot to offer. I feel you found a group of people here that absolutely are kind of ready and willing to take a lot from you, Taurus. But it, it does feel to an extent not reciprocated, that's not the word I want to use, um, appreciated, absolutely appreciated. Um, I feel you're taking something slow here, however. Could be this little red flag that's being waved here, this little cautionary tale that your intuition is nudging you to pay attention to in some way, shape or form here. Recent past here is the Six of Swords, which is, is, is lovely. It's lovely. Um, this just, this feels peaceful. And it feels that you've basically stepped away from some drama here. This is Mercury and Aquarius. Um, you've released some baggage. You've detached from something or someone energetically, and you've moved into this space of peace. And I believe the people specifically person has shown up but I do feel there's as I said other people around here too I feel these people bring you peace Th this is just it's a really nice energy it's a really nice vibration here why is this here please the sun okay so yeah you've got peace you've got freedom you've got liberation you've moved away from something and this feels very warm which again that's why that campfire with the embers floating into the dark night sky there um, came across. It's it, This is warm. You feel warm. You feel comfortable. You feel like you found a group of people that get you, that appreciate you, that you want to do that wonderful Taurus thing of taking care of everybody and making sure everybody's looked after and everybody's fed and everybody's warm and everybody's got to, you know, you're the one that will be keeping an eye on everybody's drinks during a get together scenario and you'll be the first to notice when somebody's out and the first to offer does anyone want them off into the kitchen would anybody like another that's the kind of thing taurus will do and um you're happy to do that you want to do that that's the kind of person you are but you do not you you it kind of gets your back up a bit when you come around to the conclusion that it's not even appreciated let alone reciprocated you found a group of people here but what's on your mind is is being single is being single being alone and that's not in terms of i don't want to spend any time with anybody because you clearly are spending time with people here Venus in Virgo just means that you have high standards and you're self-assured and you're confident and you feel like you're surrounded with luxury and pleasure and abundance here right now. I don't think you're fully ready to engage in anything super intense regarding love or emotions. I think there may be someone around you that would like that, but you're, you're holding back um, very much wanting to take care of yourself right now and part of taking care of yourself is spending quality good time with like-minded people you might be friend zoning somebody here let's see why the nine of pentacles is here the knave of swords yeah the knave of somebody keeping their eye on you yeah i think somebody's watching you i think somebody is Oh, that was strong. Somebody in your group may be giving away information about what it is you're doing. And that doesn't have to be a nefarious, dastardly, sneaky thing. You could have somebody in your group that's simply very innocently, say, posting pictures on social media. Hey, we did this last night. We did that. That doesn't mean they are running to somebody else with information about what Taurus is up to. But through this person, through these means, there is someone in your field here that is 
able to keep an eye on you in some way somebody not coming forward somebody not speaking somebody pretending that they're absolutely fine thank you but it's on your mind so you know this you know somebody's watching your every move right now probably on social media obviously when tarot was conceived of the knave of swords or the page of swords um, had very different connotations but we apply this to the modern world the page of swords is um, somebody who tries to find out information about what somebody else is doing who they're doing it with what they're saying what's going on with them and of course in the modern day well interpretation of of that scenario it's very much we turn to social media because it's all out there isn't it you know they can doesn't you could block them but they could still be looking at their friends mutual friends posts and see exactly what you're getting up to so just be aware of that does look like you very much know and your response to this person keeping an eye on you is you have absolutely no intention of chasing them you're not doing it for their benefit or for their gain um, and you are putting yourself in a position Taurus right now where you are incredibly hard to reach emotionally for this person they cannot get to you all they, they're kind of relegated to sitting back and simply watching that's all they get from you right now and you're kind of in this energy well if they want to spy that's on them I'm just living my life here um, moving into the future here's the prince of cups which is the page of cups which often speaks of an apology is does this person here that's spying on you have something they need to say to you here is this a wish I don't think you're all that focused on this person right now okay I've just heard distracted it's not that you don't care or you're not interested but you have sought distractions from a particular person here and you're not doing it purely for distraction's sake you are having a good time you are enjoying the people that you're spending your time with let's have a look why is the prince of cups here please the emperor oh, okay well that's quite a level up isn't it to go from the page of cups to the emperor that is a significant leveling up so this is somebody coming in to kind of claim you i do feel and i'm very strong i'm looking at this i'm looking at this this little spy energy that you've got going on here someone keeping an eye on you i think no hang on or is it this knight of wands i very much feel there are two suitors here one of them is this fiery knight of wands energy here and another is this well we've got cups here so it could be a cancer scorpio or pisces somebody wants to claim you but it's that i'm feeling a tug i'm feeling a push and pull i'm feeling you in between two suitors here two men or two women or a woman and a man vying for your attention here and somebody kind of staking their claim on you no taurus is mine there might be a little bit of aggression and jealousy involved moving into the future i think somebody here is watching what you are doing and their jealousy is is bubbling up right now it's absolutely bubbling up right now i think somebody is watching you getting kind of cozy with somebody and it's it's making them insane with jealousy your advice position here is to communicate how you feel essentially the princess of cups here it, it, it's to communicate your feelings very clearly um, but in a very calm and compassionate way let's clarify this one here before we ace of wands okay take what take what do you know okay so the ace of wands is will and direction towards a goal and essentially this is saying that you know you don't you can choose either of these suitors that seem to be hovering around you right now or you can choose neither of them but the choice is yours the choice is absolutely yours and um 
Well, it might be a little bit of an ego boost. It might be kind of nice to see two people kind of fighting over you. I don't think you're going to enjoy that for very long. I think that will be something you will want to kind of shut down fairly rapidly. You're not really here for that. Um, a little bit initially might make you feel kind of good, you know, wow, you know, all these people fighting over me. But yeah, it's going to get, it's going to wear, wear, wear thin very rapidly for you and I think you'll kind of step in and say hey I'm not some prize to be argued over and won I'll make my own decisions thank you you two fighting over me has no reflection on who I choose and it might not be either of you so why don't you all stop being so macho and weird and jealous and back off this is ridiculous. Grow up. That's what I'm hearing. Grow up. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that kind of went into a little bit of a channel-y thing there. <laughs> I, I, off, I, I regularly re-watch these readings because actually I don't know the majority of what I say because I do kind of start channeling and uh, a lot of people call me out for being judgmental or that wasn't very kind what you said and what they don't seem to understand is as a reader it's not my opinion I'm channeling the opinions of the people involved and if somebody's angry I will get angry it's not me being angry it's the energy I'm channeling into that is anger uh, in or whatever emotion I, I'm just you're feeling a bit mm, yeah, you don't like it. You don't like the jealousy. Um, what you need to know is the Ace of Swords. And that in itself tells me that you will be kind of realizing something. There will be some kind of revelation or some kind of clarity. It Often the Ace of Swords suggests that it's kind of sudden. It's like a breakthrough, like a eureka or an epiphany kind of thing. What, what will you be seeing? The Nine of Cups. Beautiful gorgeous lovely lovely jupiter in pisces healthy selfishness yeah this is like saying do you know what if you two are going to be <laughs> i can't repeat that spirit please don't <laughs> if you two are going to be how can i say that without swearing um douchebags <laughs> then fine go be douchebags on your own time i am not in going to be stood in the middle of two people fighting and arguing maybe physically fighting or like arguing on social media or just being passive aggressive or leery or rude um somebody feels it's 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 almost like there's somebody feels like they own you that's coming across kind of weirdly and you're you're just not here for it you're just like do you know what you can all go yeah yeah you know what i'm trying to say don't you taurus you're you're not here for it it, it does not impress you um, as I said, there may be an initial little ego massage there. Oh, are these people fighting? Yeah, very rapidly. Oh, no, this is no good. I don't like this. I'm not here for this. Um, yeah, this is kind of saying, go your own way. Do your own thing. Hopes and fears is the Queen of Cups. Is there somebody here who does have a piece of your heart? Is there somebody here that you're feeling that you may be not able to fully express yourself with or is there somebody here that you've pulled away from somebody that's maybe withdrawn from you there's the energy of withdrawing but still having emotions here what's going on strength yeah you are absolutely holding back from somebody or they're holding back from you i think your hope is that you can continue to kind of keep your emotions in check to remain in control of your emotions here um, could be dealing with a Leo here with the strength card being a card of Leo, obviously. Um, there's an inner calm here. There's a kindness. There's a strength of character. I think, you know, your hope as well is that you can stay true to yourself. I think there's somebody here that possibly has a tiny little piece of your heart still. But you know that's, that they're no good, essentially. Um, so you're not being strong out of stubbornness you're resisting and being strong because you love yourself more and you would like to retain that kind of energy here seeing a lot of kind of very independent confident you know two nines here um we've got three nines in total i believe where was the other one nine nine that was a six where was the other nine no no 
No, I'm sure there were three nines. Ah, it's right here, the nine of pentacles, yeah. Nines are cards of the self, cards of preserving the self, cards of taking care of the self. Um, you don't need anybody and you absolutely don't, don't need to, we'll say douchebags, that's not the word spirit was giving me though. <laughs> you don't need two douchebags arguing over you. The ultimate outcome here is screw you guys, I'm going home, peace out, I'm, I'm off. Um, I, d I just don't need this drama in my life. The whole point of what you were doing here was to step into something more peaceful, wasn't it, Taurus? So it's like, do you know what? Nah, I'm not, you know, you two fight, whatever, but I'm off, okay? So I'm not even sure what you're fighting about anymore. I feel you'll be choosing neither, ultimately. I think, you know, it's, there's nothing more unattractive then no how can i word that it's it's amazing how unattractive somebody who you once loved becomes when you've learned the lesson taurus isn't it i think that's very much a conclusion you're arriving at the empress wow yeah i'm good thanks i have my own pleasure and my own fulfillment and my own abundance. I am attractive. I am emotionally stable. I'm in connection with my intuition and my feminine. I will take care of others and I will take care of myself and I am grounded and I am beautiful and I'm off because I am not interested in any of this drama. The whole point of everything that was going on here was because I wanted some flipping peace and I will be damned if you guys are going to disrupt that. I can find it elsewhere. That does not necessarily mean you are flouncing off and storming off, but energetically you are removing yourself from this situation of two people behaving like idiots because of their egos. You're not here for it. I feel it's almost, you can see this, it's almost got to the point where these people are not even arguing over you anymore. It's it's like two stags here locking horns. It's become a battle of ego here and it's like you can step away and they'll still be fighting and you're like, did you forget what you were fighting for? You're just, you're bored. You're bored. Not doing it. Off you go because an empress is not interested in all this. Taurus, that was kind of fun. That was kind of fun. Um, I'll be back with some readings. I have been requested to do a batch of ghosted readings for anybody who has been ghosted by somebody um, that would like some kind of answers or some clarity or understanding from spirit regarding that. Those ghosted readings will be up very soon. I will, of course, be revisiting both sides of the story as a reading at uh, some point during November. All the extendeds and everything that you need is also all on Patreon. So do hop on over there if you want more like this. Please hit the like button. I always mix, mix that word. Please hit the like button because apparently it's important for an algorithm or something and it helps my channel. I'm not, I've never really been into the numbers game. I appreciate every single person that subscribes to me. Of course I do. Um, I've had many people say, oh, you deserve so many more subscribers and you deserve so many more people watching. I am a great believer that the people that need these messages will get them. So I, I'm not, I don't want to force that. But if you feel inclined to subscribe, I of course do appreciate it. And for anybody who claims the reading with energetic donations, just liking the video is enough to claim it energetically. You don't have to give me any money. Of course, again, it's appreciated um, if you do, but there are ways you can claim it. You can comment, you can like, you can just smile and know it was for you. Take care, Taurus.